Hi, I'm Michael Brisbane, PJ professional and director of instruction at Isaiah City Golf Course in Mobile, Alabama. As you can tell by the lead in to this video, this video is about footwork. You've seen several different golf swings. Some had great footwork, some had not so great footwork. Um, and I really think that footwork is something that is overlooked. Um, in, in the discussion of golf swings these days, I mean, when we watch golf on television and you know they're doing the swing analysis of whatever guy is leading the tournament and they do the slowdown, they don't talk about their footwork very much because pretty much all those guys have great footwork. They're typically talking about swing plane or the position of the arm at the top of the backswing. Now, when we get into the average everyday golfer, footwork is very, very important. Um, having great footwork allows the golf swing to stay in balance. It allows the golf swing to flow smoothly. Um, it allows body parts to work correctly. If your feet aren't holding the ground correctly, your body won't turn. If your you know, feet are popping off the ground at the wrong time, it can shut down motion. So I think it's very important that we discuss footwork and that we work on it. Now, what is good footwork and what does it look like? And I'm going to show you a little close up here in just a second. But good footwork in the golf swing is that the feet I like to refer to them as they're, they're kind of lightly on the ground. I mean, if you look at somebody that's a good dancer that's graceful, their feet are on the ground, but their feet move really freely and fully. But in the golf swing, our feet hold the ground, but then come off the ground in the, in the correct manner, in the, in the proper sequence of the swing. So in our backswing, what I like to promote, I like to promote that the feet both stay on the ground flat, okay? There becomes a change of pressure in our feet as I rotate my body to the back swing, I have loaded my back foot, meaning I have got the vast majority of my weight on my back foot. It actually works in my back foot more into my heel as I am rotating. But I really like that left foot and left heel to stay on the ground. Now, if you're a golfer of very little flexibility or you've you know, gotten a little older and you know you feel like you need that front foot to come off the ground that's fine but please have it come off the ground correctly when you make your back swing don't have that front foot pop off the ground this way okay with your knee going towards the ball let your pivot let the body rotation pull that foot off the ground and it should just pull the heel up a little bit. Your front knee or your left knee for the right-handed swing is going to move a little bit towards your back knee. Now, I want you to really avoid too much because if you get too much motion out of that left foot, it'll cause you to have a reverse pivot. So, my preference is both feet on the ground. If you need to let that front one move, let it move a little bit to give you a little more freedom in your back swing. Now, as we start the downswing, the downswing starts with a change of pressure in our feet. I do a little motion with my hips. Some people refer to it as a bump. Some people refer to it as a shift. I just like to refer to my students as, hey, as the hips unwind, it is going to start to transfer that weight that's been in our back foot into our front foot. And it starts moving the weight into our left heel. And if I turn around this way, you'll see that as my left hip unwinds or moves this direction, it will be pulling my weight into my left heel and also straightening my left leg. Now, as that happens, and I start and I continue my wind forward, my unwinding forward or my turn forward, whatever you want to call it, my pivot will then pull my back foot off the ground, okay? And when my back foot pulls off the ground, my back foot just kind of rolls in up onto the ball of your feet. I'm gonna give you a close up here in a minute. And then that back foot just rolls right up on its toe. So when we finish the golf swing, we should have the vast majority of our weight in our left heel. You can see that my left toe has come off the ground 
showing a little bit of inflexibility in me, not the most flexible person in my hips. Again, if I had my preference, I'd love that left foot to stay flat, but that takes somebody who's very flexible. So anyway, my, left, my weight's gone into my left heel, my back foot is all the way up on its toe, my knees have gone together, okay? There's the motion. Now, let me show you a couple of the main flaws that I see in golfers, okay? Beginners. Beginners all want to, in their backswing, that left foot to come up off the ground. And again, it's the way I showed you before. It just comes up on its toe. The knee's not moving correctly. Bad turn, okay? The other things that I see in the back foot are I will see the, the, the same thing that happened in the forward foot happen in the back foot, that as they come down, the back foot just pops up. The heel pops off the ground. Their right knee gets moving towards the target. Now that knee is in the way of the swing and we can't rotate anymore. So that motion is not good. So we don't want our knees moving like that. Now, the second big thing that I see in the back foot, or the right foot for us right-handed golfers, left foot for left-handed golfers, is that they will just let that back foot spin on the ground. And you can tell if you're one of these people that after you've hit balls, wherever your feet are, it's just a big twisted up mess there. But they let that back foot spin on the ball of their foot, and they end up with the golf swing with the, from the ball of their foot out to the toe still on the ground, and they look something like this, okay? Let me show you a close-up of what footwork should look like, and then we'll conclude this video. All right, so here's a little close-up of my feet, okay? Left foot, right foot. Again, back swing. As I rotate my weight back, my left knee is going to move a little bit with the rotation of my hips, but I'd really prefer that left foot to stay flat on the ground, okay? My weight has transferred into my right heel. Then on the forward swing, it's a transition. It's a little shift of weight, okay? A little transfer of weight from the back foot to the front foot. Then my hips unwind. As my hips are unwinding, it's putting weight into my left heel. My back foot is going to be pulled off the ground. Notice how my back foot comes up this way and then rolls up onto its toe. Again, we don't want it spinning. So here's a full swing. Back swing, forward swing. Great balance. Okay, so now the question becomes, how do we practice our footwork? You know, what do, we, what do we need to do? Is there something I can do at the driving range? Is there, um, you know, something I can do at home? And if you've watched any of my other videos, you, you know by now I love people to practice at home. Uh, I like you to practice without a ball. So we're going to kind of go through the, the steps here. I mean, if you're, if you're a golfer that has very poor footwork, what I would suggest you do is just work on your footwork. Don't use a club. Don't try and make a big body motion. Just get somewhere, put yourself in your posture, and just feel yourself go to the finish, okay? Make a little backswing, feel yourself go to the finish. Put your hands behind your back. Feel yourself make a turn, feel yourself go to the finish. If you wanna put your arms across your chest, feel yourself make a backswing, feel yourself make a finish, okay? Just get comfortable with that motion. Get comfortable with being in balance when you get to the full finish. Okay? After you've done that, you may want to add a golf club in your hand and just make swings at home. All right, Get in the backyard, just swinging, and all you're concentrating on is your footwork. Once you've got comfortable with your footwork with a golf club, great thing, and I have a, it's actually another video of mine where I'm using a broom, but I love a one of the good old-fashioned heavy brooms to swing and just get out there and swing that broom. Now you've got a lot of weight in your hand and it forces your feet to work correctly or you're going to fall all over the place. Then when you go to the golf course or you go to the driving range, start off by hitting balls slow, okay? Go look at my video on the swing sequence and you'll see that's a great drill to do for footwork where you stand out there and you just make full swings but just done in a very slow speed. 
so you can learn to feel your feet on the ground so that your feet can work correctly, okay? Then just gradually build your speed up. Think if you pay attention to your footwork, okay? You develop really nice footwork in your golf swing. It may start to take care of some other problems in your golf swing. I mean, if you get real good at keeping that front foot flat on the ground, your left foot flat on the ground, it could solve an overswing problem in your backswing. It's just not going to let you go very far. If you have, if you swing the club too hard, if you're a person that has bad rhythm and you swing too hard at it, that's a chronic problem that you have. Well, if you start working on your footwork and you pay attention to your footwork, it's going to make you slow down. Okay. Try this. Okay. Work on your footwork. Great balance. All of those things that the great swingers of the golf club have used in the past, or, or that, that all the great golf, golfers of the past have had great footwork. So, good luck with this. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out some of the websites that have come across the screen. And I hope that